parts. So if I have cotangent, um, basically what I'd ask you guys to do is to go ahead and understand the um, period, the phase shift, vertical transformation, and asymptotes um, so we can think about it. So obviously there's no answer, right? Right, so we want to make sure we don't write amplitude because there's no amplitude. The period, just remember guys, the period is pi divided by b. Right? Not 2 pi, like everything else. Sine and co pi over b. And again, even though we can't measure this, there is a lot of measurement that we can do to add and subtract. So we don't need to worry about the negative. However, what if there's some um, some like thing on the inside? And that's it. That's the only transformations. So now let's look at where the asymptotes occur. If I was just going to look at y equals cotangent of x, I know that my asymptote, I think x over y, so I look at my unit circle and I think when is the x over y going to be undefined? And I can see that x over y is going to be undefined at 0 and pi. And if you look at the notes, my asymptotes occur at x equals pi n. However, I have a change in my period, don't I? Right? So, and again, I don't need to, so all I need to do to find my asymptotes is I need to have 4x, because that's the change in my period, is equal to pi n. Divide by 4, divide by 4, x equals pi over 4, n. So that's where my asymptotes are now going to occur. Yes? is just going to be reflecting it. But if you look at like the reflection um, of the cotangent, like that's not going to change the asymptotes. And I'll show you, I'll show you that on the on the graph on Desmos. See, they, they, it doesn't affect it. It's just that you use it. And the other thing to remember about uh, period, period is never negative.